I want to go into some of your work on marriage equality. I understand you find that there is no nationwide right to same-sex marriage, emphasizing uh, that same-sex relationships do not implicate society's interest in responsible procreation. You actually filed a motion to vacate a federal court's opinion holding that California's Proposition 8, which defined marriage as between one man and one woman, violated the 14th Amendment. And you actually filed a motion weeks after the judge in that case uh, stated that he had been in a same-sex relationship for a decade. This particular argument, uh, I felt, was within the fair bounds of, ad of advocacy. It would follow then, I think, that you would then say an African-American judge should have to recuse himself from civil rights cases, or a woman should not be permitted to hear sexual harassment cases. I think you could have the same line of, of arguments that come from that, and that's why I'm so concerned. If you are saying he can't do his job because of his race, is that not the definition of racism? No, I don't think so at all. But okay. you're saying he can't do his job because of it. Uh, look, he's proud of his heritage, okay? I'm building a wall. The answer is, he is giving us very unfair rulings. I'm concerned about the logic behind the position you took in terms of uh, your belief that Judge Von Walker should recuse himself. The logic there, I think, leads one to believe then that you would suggest that a woman, if she were a judge on a case that involved choice, should have to declare whether or not she intended to have an abortion if she were to be able, without bias, to hear a case that involved a woman's right to choose. Faced with similarly nuanced challenges, courts have seen such recusal requests for what they really are, a thinly veiled attempt to disqualify judges based on their race, gender, religious affiliation, or in this case, sexual orientation.